we can go together it doesn't really matter hello guys it's katie and welcome on back to steal the spotlight it was about a month or so ago i did a fashion tips video which was all about shopping on a budget and i don't know i just really enjoyed sitting down chatting about it with you guys so i wanted to make it a little bit of a series so if you guys have any topics that you want to see me cover then leave them down in the comments below but today's topic is kind of i guess about shopping and planning for the perfect wardrobe which I don't even know if that title makes sense, but pretty much what I'm trying to say is if you are one of those people who always finds yourself every morning being like, I have nothing to wear, but you have hundreds and hundreds of clothes stuffed inside your wardrobe, then hopefully, hopefully, this video is gonna help you out a little bit. So as part of Gen Y, people are always, always telling us that we're addicted to technology. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna roll with that and I'm gonna try out an app to help me organize my wardrobe. Which sounds ridiculous, but it's actually helped me. So I thought that I would talk about it in this video in case it might help some of you guys as well. So the app is called Snuffs and you may have heard of it because people use it for practically anything. You could use it for your whole makeup collection or just the makeup items you used that one day that you really liked how it turned out. Obviously, you could use it for fashion, um, collectibles, if you collect candles, toy cars, literally anything people use this app for. And all you have to do is just snap a picture of something and upload it onto this app, which is obviously super easy, but I know what you're thinking. Sounds just like Instagram. However, it is much better because you can actually group your photos into themes and categories, which is where I found that it's really, really helpful to organize something. I thought that I would share this in this video because you can pretty much plan out your whole wardrobe on this app. If you just went and took photos of like everything you had, or you don't have to, just like certain sections of your wardrobe that you think need help organizing and just upload it onto this app, then you are pretty much gonna have a virtual closet on your phone, which reminds me of like share on Clueless. You're just like wake up in the morning, go over to your phone, scroll on through until you find the perfect outfit. Sounds good to me. So you can totally just leave your profile on private and use it simply for organizing reasons. Or of course you can use it as a social media platform as well and share your new purchases or what you've been loving. And of course scroll through what other people have in their collections as well and get inspiration. So I definitely think this is the best of both worlds, but there is a few ways that I've found it particularly helpful. So I'm gonna mention that in my first three tips and then I'm gonna go on to some other great tips that are gonna be handy for shopping and planning your wardrobe. So tip number one, you might think is obvious, but I think is crucial to having the perfect wardrobe and something that we all struggle with. And that is to not buy excessive amounts of one certain type of item. And I guess it's just that everyone has a weak spot. Maybe you just can't help yourself when it comes to handbags or earrings shoes, crop tops, whatever it may be. Don't lie to me, I know you have a weak spot. Mine is hats, I'm pretty sure most of you could have guessed that. So on the app, I have actually made a whole shelf, which is kind of what they call each of their categories, and it's all dedicated to my hat collection. So next time I'm out shopping and I'm like, damn, you know what, I need that baseball cap in my collection right now, I can just reevaluate the situation, go on my phone and be like, wow, you know what? I actually have three that already look exactly the same. So I'm just gonna put it down and walk away. Tip number two is to not impulse buy and try and stick to some sort of budget. And the way I found the app is helpful is if you dedicate an entire shelf to your new purchases every month. So at the moment, I have all of my purchases from July up and that just helped me keep a tally on how much money I was spending on fast fashion. The key is to not impulse buy on lots of trendy pieces at the moment because that's when you end up with a wardrobe that goes out of style really, really quickly. That's when you're saying, I have nothing to wear. So I definitely think it's a good idea to keep track of your purchases. And obviously also from a money standpoint, great to shop on a budget as much as possible. And tip number three is my final one that regards the app, I guess. 
and that is to take photos of an entire outfit instead of just doing all item shelves and this way I think that it really helps those mornings when you are running late but you still want to look nice because you have something important on that day and you just cannot think you're like oh my goodness I don't even know what is in my wardrobe at the moment I don't know what to put together just whip out your phone let's face it you're already on it on Instagram anyway every single morning so just take two seconds to go on the snubs app scroll through the outfits that you've already photographed and then that way that morning you scroll through and you go yep okay that I know looks good just grab it out and you're good to go moving on to tip number four and that is to just know what you have and clear out what you do not wear and this one has always been a hard one for me because I guess I'm a little bit of a hoarder even if I haven't worn it for like six months I'm like you know what I might need to wear that at some point in my life so we better hold on to it I used to be like that but I'm getting a little bit more brutal when it comes to culling down my items because I realized that there's literally no point in holding on to stuff that you never ever gravitate towards it is just taking up space and just adds to the nightmare of I don't know what to wear so just get rid of everything that you haven't worn in like the last six months just get rid of it make space for new things which brings me to tip number five which is to make lists personally I'm kind of addicted to list making so probably don't take it as far as I do but I do think it can be really really helpful so for example you have just done the mammoth task of cleaning everything out and now take a look is there certain items that you are lacking maybe you realize that you threw out your only pair of black skinny jeans because they didn't fit properly anymore write it on your list that's something that you actually need and you know that you are going to get wear out of so you're not going to be impulse buying and wasting money if you have a set list of things that you know you need to add to your wardrobe and the last two tips that I have for you are kind of things to keep in mind when you are out shopping because obviously shopping is like a key essential part to having the perfect wardrobe because you need to know that you're buying the right stuff for you which means that tip number six is to know your style and also your lifestyle I've actually done a whole video about trying to find your personal style so I'm gonna link that one down below for you but as far as knowing your lifestyle and what I mean by that is me for example we'll use me as an example I'm not really much of a clubbing night out person I'm a grandma I just don't really dig it I don't do it too often however I have like a quarter of a wardrobe all made up of like really pretty dresses which let's face it I shouldn't buy if I know that I'm never gonna wear them you know what I mean so what I'm saying is just keep that in mind you know be realistic and just say am I ever actually going to have an occasion to wear this for me, most of the time the answer is no. And my final tip, which is lucky number seven, kind of a weird one to end on, but we'll roll with it anyway, right? And that is to make sure that your wardrobe has lots of variety and versatility. And what I mean by that, as far as versatility goes, is to make sure that the items you have can team up with lots of different things you already own. So I'm sure some of you will be guilty of this because I definitely am. I have those items in my wardrobe that I bought and was like, yes, you know what, that is going to pair perfectly with that pair of shoes for a party sometime. And you know what, it totally did, but I wore that outfit once and then realized that I couldn't wear that skirt with anything else. So it sits there until I do my next wardrobe clear out and I shed a tear because I spent like $100 on it and only wore it once. You know, that's just, that's just not smart shopping. So to avoid that, what I do is when I want to buy something, I try and visualize in my head at least three outfits that I have at home that I can pair this new purchase with and that way I know that I will hopefully get my money's worth and then as far as variety goes I know that it is definitely important to kind of have a personal style for your wardrobe but don't get too crazy for example if you went out and purchased all crop tops if you're wearing crop tops every single day then you're probably going to start to get sick of them and feel like you're wearing the same sort of thing over and over again so eventually you're going to push it to the side because you're sick of it and go okay what else can I wear today then and you're going to find out there's nothing else because all you bought were crop tops and then you're going to have a bit of a fashion dilemma on your hands and have to start from scratch so definitely try and make sure that you have different options in your wardrobe so you have the freedom to mix it up when you want 
Alrighty, so that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just this casual chatty one. Let me know if you want to see more and of course if you have any topic recommendations, leave them down below as well as any tips you have for planning the perfect wardrobe. I think it would be great if we can all help each other out in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you next time.